Questions from 948? Six terms that might be worthwhile venture, but you know, we don't have that. We don't have six terms. We have up to four terms, so we're going to try grouping. We're going to group into two groups of two. Two groups of two. So here's a group of two. Here's another group of two. I'm just using circles, not parentheses. Parentheses can get confusing. You think you're supposed to distribute something that you're not supposed to. You think it's multiplication, but it's not. Just circling the two groups. So in the first group, we say to ourselves, what do these two have in common? And the answer is what? B squared. What? B squared. B squared? Yeah. Oh, B squared is in common. What's left when we take a B squared out of these two? B mm -hmm. All right. I just put that plus right there to make sure that we don't accidentally Write it so it looks like we're multiplying the steps together. You got this group plus this other group. Four. If we look at this group, what do those two have in common? Four. 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 But if that first thing is negative, no. let's make it a negative four that we pull out. All right. All right. Yeah. Negative four. What's left inside here when we take out a negative four? B. B. Minus What's that? Minus five. Minus five. Minus five. Negative four times negative five is going to be positive 20. So we get that minus sign there. We don't really need to put plus and minus. We can just put this minus this. Okay. Now, factor by grouping worked. How do we know the factor by grouping worked? Because if you uh, distribute out, it equals that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that we, we know that we factored correctly. But we know that we can continue on from there. How? Like, what, how do we continue on? Um, what? Hmm? Well, because oh, yeah, B minus five. they have a common factor of B minus 5. So let me give you a, something unrelated. Just like if you had 5x squared minus 10, You're going to take a 5 factor from both, from both of these terms, right? Take it outside the parentheses, does that make sense? Undistributed. Yeah. I'm going to bring out a 5 here, just a little bit. So we're going to take a 5 outside here, leaving x squared minus 2. We're going to take a 5 from that one and a 5 from that one, so that's what's left. Well, we can take a b minus 5 factor, because it's multiplied in both terms b minus 5 times b squared, b minus 5 times negative 4. So you get the common factor of b minus 5, and what's left on the inside when we take away a b minus 5 from both? b squared minus 4, b minus 2. Okay. This one, we can't factor this one anymore, but this one, can we factor that some more? Maybe it's not. You can, because it's called a difference of squares. b squared and 2 squared. Instructions said factor completely, then yeah. Right. Okay, that's 35. Okay. Other questions? We do 50. Uh, Hunter? Oh, uh, 28. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. 22.
first thing we do, as we should, first thing, anytime we're factoring a polynomial, first thing we should do is check and see, do all the terms have something in common that we can factor out? Two. A two. P. And a P. Wow. If we factor a two, P. 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 P.
So we divide by three on both sides, b is equal to zero. Subtract three on both sides, b is negative three. Uh, subtract five from both sides. First things first, we always check and see if there's something in common all the terms. Yeah, C squared. Yeah, C squared. C squared. Leaving C squared minus 100. What? Different difference of squares? Different yeah. Different squares. This is C squared. This is what is the what? What squares to make 100? Right. Okay. 10. Yeah. 10. Yeah. This is 10 squared. So how does that factor? C plus 10, C minus 10. Okay. Next. And you make them all equal to zero. Take the square root of all sides. C equals zero. Subtract 10. Add 10. I've got three solutions. Mm -hmm. If you are looking on the, the first page, c equals zero or c equals plus or minus ten is how they wrote it. it just means positive ten, negative yeah. ten, both solutions. So that symbol means both of these numbers are they work. So she's factoring out a 5x squared from, <laughs> from the first two terms. <laughs> factoring out a negative 3 from both of those terms. So now both terms have an x plus 2 in common. by grouping, we might be able to continue factoring if this is a difference of squares. So work that through for whoever's fifth year grading. If they did it right, great. If not, then uh, help them out. Help them out. I'll go back in a sec.
circle these into two groups, and this group has an x squared common. You factor on x squared from there, you get an x, from there you get a negative 3, because x minus 3. Yeah. Factor on a negative 4. Back up to negative 4, we get an x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. So there we go. Factor on negative 4. Now they have a negative 3, or sorry, not negative 3, but x minus 3 in common. So we factor that x minus 3 out. And we're left with x squared minus 4. x squared minus 4. x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares, so we do x minus 2 times x plus 2. Or x plus 2 times x minus 2, it's all the same. And all these should be equal to 0, meaning now we have three things multiplied together to make 0. So Either this would have to be 0, meaning x would be 3, or this would have to be 0, meaning x is 2, or this would have to be 0, meaning x is negative 2. So there are all if, uh, if the person did it right, smiley face, if not, then, then diverge from where they might have gone wrong and show them how to do it right. Score out of 8. And I'll come around and report that.